Cool tech under $100. Cool tech under $50. Best tech deals of the month under $50. Top tech deals of the week for $30. Top tech deals, what you should buy, best tech, this, that. I'm just tired of it. People, they're all telling you on YouTube it's the same thing. They're telling you what you should buy, but they're missing one thing. Nobody on YouTube, you type it up right now, nobody tells you what you shouldn't buy. The opposite end of the spectrum. That's where I come in. And I'm going to tell you all what you shouldn't buy for over $300. Let's go. Uh, the first thing on this list are two HDMI cables. The first one I have is the... Yes, I'm reading off an envelope. The first thing I have is a couple HDMI cables. The first one I have here is the Plenum Rat. It's a 200 foot, yes, that's right, 200 foot long HDMI cable for $471.84. So, I the only realistic use I see for a cable of this length is if you're like, say, at the top of a very tall building like this one, and you're trying to reach a cable all the way up because there's only a power outlet at the bottom of the building. Now, this would be able to accomplish that task, but you gotta keep in mind, uh, at a length of 200 feet, there's gonna be some serious input lag, so I would not recommend the 200 foot long HDMI cable, even though it does come with a nice spool that you can wind it up, so cable management's a little bit easier. I respect that. But for the price of $471.87, I would not recommend the Plenum Rat. Plenum Rat? What, what even? What? I wouldn't recommend it, no. Next up, you guys have all seen this. Linus Tech Tips has made a video about it. It's the uh, Audio Quest braided HDMI cable for $1,094. Wait a second. <laughs> it seems like all the worst companies have the strangest names. What? Audio Quest? What? We're going on an Audio Quest. <laughs> Would you want to buy an HDMI cable from the company Audio Quest? No, it just doesn't it doesn't sound good. It doesn't feel good. Actually, I mean, I have a mouse called the James Donkey, which is actually the best mouse I've ever used, but that's a pretty silly name. But I mean, come on, man. Uh, I mean, you already know everything about it. It's not good. Don't buy it. $1,000 is a little bit out of the budget for HDMI cables for most regular consumers, so we're going to have to pass on this one. The next item I have is a much more reasonable price and a lot more interesting and enticing. It is the Magnet Lose Weight New Technology Toe Ring Silicon Foot Massage Feet for $9.99. So I'm looking at this, I'm looking at the description, trying to get to the bottom of this, trying to figure out what's going on here. And uh, the type, it says massage and relaxation. So okay. You get like a little massage thingy in there, but then it also says to lose weight. I'm very confused. I didn't know what they were really trying to do with this product. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the diagrams and <laughs> the diagrams. I, I could have made something like this in third grade, but uh, hey, uh, I'm not going to hate on the design team. This might be a good product. Let's look at the reviews. Two stars hurt my toes. Frowny face. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not really seeing a lot with this product. The signs aren't looking too good. I'd, I'd pass on this, guys. I'm sorry. Next up, we have a very interesting product. Keep in mind, all I did to find these products was go into Amazon and type in technology. So this does classify as technology according to the Amazon search results. It is the David Middlebrook Generation Gap a mixed media art piece. It's a paper clip with a uh, newer paper clip attached to it using braided wire. It's 36 by 38 inches and it comes in at a price of $19,750. Uh, what this is meant to symbolize is the uh, old, it's kind of like a generational gap thing. You have the old generation symbolized by the rusty paper clip and the new generation symbolized by the new paper clip. And it's all braided together, and it, it symbolizes, see we're on the right over there, that's us. 
uh, the tech YouTubers, and over there is everybody else, the old Rusty. Um, yeah, I mean, it's interesting art, but what's really holding me back from it is I could make that myself uh, if I found a 36 inch long paper clip. Um, I mean, it's up to you. If you do want to buy it, I, hey, I got a Amazon link in the description. You use that, and hey, uh, yeah. So if you're interested in it, please, I beg you. There's a link in the description. If you want to buy it, hey, it's right there. All right. A lot of people are commenting about the mic. They really don't like how I just hold it in front of my face like this. Um, yes, it is strange. It does look odd, but it's what I have to work with, so I apologize. Next up, this is a very enticing item. I looked at this and I thought, and I was very intrigued. I was almost on the verge of purchasing this until I noticed the price. It's the Pure Fruit Technologies Mango Zan. So this is taking technology to a whole new level. This is the most technologically advanced fruit you can buy. It uses a uh, mango freen or something like that. I, I looked at the ingredients, it didn't really make sense. I don't know what mango freen is. But when I looked at the, uh, the description and the claims it was making, this fruit does sound very advanced technologically and I was intrigued by it. However, it costs $86.85. And when I look at the, the mango and I look at the price, I did a cost-benefit analysis. I, I don't really see it, guys. I, I wouldn't recommend purchasing this product. Um, next up, we have a pretty interesting um, item on Newegg, actually. I switched over to Newegg. And it's the uh, A Talone A TVGA 300 CV VGA to component or component to VGA converter scaler. So pretty much it's a box. You got some buttons and some uh, ports. I see like a power out, I see a VGA, some component. I don't really know what it does though. I, I've tr I looked at it, it has to do something more than convert VGA to component at the given price, $349.99. Uh, I analyzed it at every angle, uh, I even penalized it, and I could not find, uh, you know, I couldn't find the purpose. It really dumbfounded me, I was completely flabbergasted. I wouldn't recommend it for $349.99, but if you can get to the bottom of it, if you can find out what it's meant to do, it, it might be an enticing offer because it is a very attractive box. Let's move on to our last item. It's the Xantrex Freedom. I, I do like Freedom. HF Inverter Slash Charger. So once again, this is the same case as the box. I looked at it, I analyzed it, I penalized it, I didn't understand what it's supposed to do. Um, yeah, from the pictures, it could be anywhere from like 50 feet to 5 inches. I, I'm not sure if it would fit on my setup. And it, like I said, it is attractive, it does look nice, and I do believe it would fit in my setup. However, I can't recommend it as I'm not sure what it's intended to do. I read the description, just a bunch of mumbo jumbo, you know. Uh, and if even if you look at the picture of the item, the picture itself is corrupted! It doesn't even show what it's supposed to be! I don't know, guys. I w really wouldn't recommend this. It's kind of shady how in the actual main picture of the item, they have it all blurred out and purple and pink. You can't even tell what it is. If the company doesn't want you to see their item, that is not a good sign. So, I wouldn't recommend it for $478.07. That's gonna wrap it up, guys. Um, like I said, this series, is it's breaking down boundaries. It's making YouTube a lot better because a lot of content creators out there, like I said, they're all just money grabbing. They're grabbing the money. They'll tell you, hey, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this. But they don't tell you what not to buy. That's where I come in. And like I said, I'm doing the YouTube community and the tech community as a whole a huge favor. You're welcome. What not to buy is just as important as what you should buy. I hope you all have a great day and a great evening, and if you're new, be sure to subscribe. If you like the video, be sure to like, and if you have a question about any of the products I mentioned, or if you have an answer to uh, what any of those last two items do, please tell me. I really gotta know. You all have a great evening. Peace.